Sian Bingelela. Uh, greetings uh, to all uh, the brothers and sisters there who are watching and supporting the work that we do here. And uh, today uh, we are back again, yes, uh, to uh, speak on another topic uh, because now we are simply going uh, there's a, a group uh, as you all know that we are trying to reach out and uh, really uh, try to explain uh, things uh, to this kind of people um, uh, biblically so because I believe it is a group that has been neglected by the Christian church and uh, not only here in the African context but also uh, in the Western context it has been a group that has been um, uh, neglected and uh, uh, most of the apologetics that we do you know they focus on um, Western uh, naturalism, materialism, you know, reaching out to the Muslim community and uh, all these things. But uh, it has only, I think, started in the last 10 years, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe 15 years, where now you have, you have had uh, apologetics, which is now uh, being, you know, uh, developed in trying to reach out to uh, that group. Uh, apologetics, I think, that started in the West with men such as your Tabiti Anyambile, your Eric Mason, your Jerome Gay, as they are trying to reach out to this group. And this is a group which is within uh, what uh, is called the Afrocentric uh, movement, uh, which mo in most of its part, it seeks to do... Uh, good you know to the african community uh but uh, uh, uh as that is being uh played out we then have a problem where certain historical facts are now twisted you know changed uh, in order to suit a particular agenda uh if now you are interested you can just check uh go and check out um uh, the Afrocentric uh, movement. Oh, yeah. So you can yeah go and check uh, them out. But now today I want to uh, um, preach. Uh, no, not to preach. Just to discuss uh, a, 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 um, on a topic uh, regarding African history, uh, African historians, and the Bible. African history, African historians, and the the Bible. The reason why I want to talk uh, about this is because uh, you have had uh, a group, I think a group of young men uh, inspired by um, some guys within the Afrocentric movement uh, in this current generation that you have, as in the previous uh, videos I've mentioned, men such as Uma Johnson, uh, Polite, and the conscious community as they call them. Uh, you have people who have been uh, influenced highly by these men and as they've been influenced highly by these men there have been uh, teachings regarding African history African historians and the the Bible you have had many who are saying uh, that uh, within the Afrocentric uh, movement because what they do is that um, these guys that I've mentioned, your Uma Johnson, your Polite, and uh, sort of like the whole so-called uh, conscious community, uh, what they do is that they go and listen and read materials from uh, white or Western uh, uh, writers, Western intellectuals, those who have been criticizing uh, the Bible. And as they read these materials, they then come back to the African community and clothe these arguments which they've taken from Western intellectuals in uh, so-called so African clothes and then uh, uh, make it as if now these ideas originated from them. Uh, one guy who sort of like is, um, they take a lot from him. You have men such as uh, Bart Ehrman whom they take his argument you have uh, especially 
uh, guys, uh, 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 Western uh, intellectuals in the Enlightenment um, uh, period, uh, who put down arguments challenging, you know, the sufficiency, the inerrancy, and infallibility of the Bible, and even cha- 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 uh, even challenging. You know the the whether Christ existed in history and all uh, and and or not. You know you you've had people rising denying many of them denying that Christ did not. Uh, he was just a mythological figure, and and all that. So now you have these now uh, so-called leaders in the Afrocentric movement taking these arguments from these Western intellectuals clothing them in african attire and making them as if they are original to the africans now coming questioning uh the bible uh questioning if the bible is true and uh one of the one of their favorite saying about the bible is um that the bible has been responsible for mentally enslaving uh, 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 black people they, they will then say that you know the Bible is responsible for mentally enslaving black people and uh, that uh, 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 if one is still a Christian he's mentally enslaved as they will be saying that you know if you are a Christian you are just mentally enslaved you can't be a Christian and then think that you can really care about uh, the problems facing the African community, then you will have you have had this revival, you know, of uh, uh, in the thinking of uh, many of these um, the guys, uh, uh, others turning to atheism, others being agnostic, and others, in fact, uh, are saying that you know what, let us simply go back to our African traditional religions, and then as they are doing that, they will then reject the Bible. Uh, they will reject uh, the Bible uh, with regards to facts. It speaks about science, facts. It speaks about philosophy, the facts that it speaks about history, including African history. Now, I've read uh, uh, um, uh, books from prominent uh, teachers within this Afrocentric movement. One of them uh, is, uh, uh, is Cheke Anta Diop, uh, and then you have uh, Chancellor Williams, uh, with Chancellor Williams writing a book on the destruction of black civilization. And then you have uh, Cheke Anta Diop, uh, I've read two of his books where it speaks about the African origin of civilization and the one speaking on the uh, uh, pre-colonial uh, black Africa. And then uh, one thing that happens uh, that I've seen as I'm, I'm reading these writers is that they consider the Bible. In fact, it, the Bible uh, in their writing is highly uh, they, they they respect it a lot uh, with um, uh, uh, Chancellor William uh, even saying, claiming that he's also a devout Christian, but in fact the Christianity that he is against is the Christianity which was used as a tool to oppress black people. And then in his book, he in fact when he talks of African history, he gives due respect to the Greeks and the Roman philosophers and historians who wrote without this prejudice, uh, uh, prejudice views about African, uh, uh, African people, which we see uh, 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 many of the Western writers later on embracing uh, in the uh, 18th, uh, going to the 19th century. He gives, you know, praise to this um, uh, writers for their uh, non-prejudiced views on their uh, on the African uh, people. You know, men such as your Herodotus, your Diodorus, and uh, 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 others. You know, in uh, the Greek or Roman uh, uh, um, uh, in, uh, intellectuals. And then he goes on and say that also even with the Bible, 
he really appreciates how the Bible spoke about African people. So, and also with uh, Cheikh Anta Diop, who even uses uh, 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 Genesis chapter 10 and 11, especially Genesis chapter 10 and 11, in him speaking about, uh, you know, the origins of the African people, say, in fact, agreeing with the Bible that the African uh, 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 people came from Ham. You know, Ham was the father of uh, Kush, was the father of uh, uh, Mizraim, was the father of Put, was the father of Canaan. As you read in Genesis chapter 10, verses 6, he uses that in, in his, as he traces uh, uh, the African, uh, as he traces uh, the African origin of civilization and, 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 and all that, you know, with regards to the African community and he he gives uh, 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 due praises to to the Old Testament of which he says that you know it speaks clearly about the African people and in fact it uh, refutes many of these uh, views that uh, many of the Western uh, intellectuals held about African people in them being uh, savages you know uh, barbarians and uh, all that so now he you know uh, uh rejects those views and he uses the bible to do so now the irony is then now you have these men who have written these books and these books are foundational in the so-called conscious community uh, as these guys uh, speak but now these guys who are now sort of prominent in the conscious community you then have them rejecting the bible you then have them calling the bible that it is a white man's book uh, that was made in the council of nasia and all those pseudo uh, historic uh, 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 theories that now these men um uh, propagating and i'm not also saying that i do agree with everything that uh, 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 chancellor williams uh, wrote or everything that uh, Czech Anta Diop wrote about uh, 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 the Bible and uh, African history. I'm not saying that I, I, I agree with everything, but one thing for sure is that he held the Bible to be correct, you know, when it comes to uh, 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 historical facts. So I don't know those people in the Afrocentric movement especially in the in in our current generation who will then say reject it whilst you have most of their prominent uh teachers teaching that in fact the bible is correct uh in uh its view of um uh, african people so i think to me it's this is just some uh ignorance i think uh, uh and also others people other people trying to find excuses you know to uh, reject the message of uh, Jesus Christ to reject the Bible uh, so that they can be um, uh, 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 um, um, masters of their own destiny so that they can be uh, self autonomous and uh, sort of like uh, live their lives without having you know um, the higher authority telling them how they ought to live their life and also th there's this fear of uh, you know, knowing that God is a holy God and He's a judge, uh, and so they hate that. So now, for them to uh, uh, reject that, uh, and then so that they can live according to the way they like, they will have to discredit the Bible. Not only that, there are many other African historians who have uh, written a lot on 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 African history, and uh, you know, really looking at the Bible. One, I have this guy uh, uh, Cholembe who wrote a book on why Africa is um, uh, uh, poor, and also there's uh, this one Ian McQueen. Uh, who wrote uh, the history uh, regarding the black conscious community, uh, black conscious movement uh, of Steve Biko, showing that uh, Biko draw, drew a lot uh, uh, from the Bible. In fact, him working with a Christian organization till his death, you know, really um, uh, 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 causes us to really think especially in the um, afrocentric community which now they are so trying 
uh, with all their power to reject Christianity. Uh, even uh, on top of that, the man who's like one of the prominent guys in the um, uh, African community, you know, this is the father of modern Pan-Africanism, Marcus Garvey, wrote a book, uh, uh, a, a message uh, to the people, the course of African philosophy. In that book, he has a whole section, I think 15 pages, in which he dedicates that section in teaching about the God of the Bible and Christ Jesus. In fact, Marcus Garvey was a Christian. So you have the, ma the father of modern pan-africanism you know who's a christian and then you have these people who are now taking most of his ideas then saying you know christianity is a white man's religion and yet they have they are taking the ideas which were expounded by marcus garvey who was also influenced by the judeo-christian worldview you know so really uh, I, I think these people they have a, 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 an agenda of discrediting the bible so that they can uh, have their self-autonomy so that they will not have god telling them what to do so that's what they want uh, in my own uh, opinion so now the thing is uh, the bible uh, speaks a lot on African history and uh, one will be doing uh, uh, a serious uh, 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 mistake if I can say that if you want to reject the Bible and then um, speak uh, clearly you know on uh, uh, African history because even the uh, uh, African intellectuals African historians did not reject the Bible. So when you are doing that, uh, I, I, I haven't seen anyone in the current times who has been successful, you know, in rejecting the Bible on what it says about African people and then being successful in terms of being uh, objective, you know, uh, about uh, African uh, history. So now this is a plea in that the Bible has a lot to contribute, you know, with uh, that desire to uh, look at uh, the African uh, African history and uh, really look at the achievements of the African people. You know, really here in the Bible, there's a lot that you can learn from that. You, there's a lot that we can learn in terms uh, of, uh, you know, with regards to God, with regards to sin, with regards to meaning purpose in this life, with regards to destiny, with regards to origin. You know, the Bible has a lot to say uh, when it comes to the African people, to which prominent African historians in the so-called African community did not reject. So this is a plea that uh, let us also not fall into that trap which now has given to the western world uh, uh, atheism agnostic and you know all these anarchist and this chaos that now exists because of them uh, uh, embracing you know uh, 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 human logic the human mind over the divine revelation so now when africans begin to do that uh chaos is going to result from that kind of thinking so thank you for listening i uh, hope you um, comment on the comment section subscribe and also don't forget to share the video and follow us on uh, facebook uh, twitter uh, tender Wema missions and thank you for listening bye